Hi, welcome to another Museum Moments. Today we're out and about looking at the remains of some of the infrastructure of the Donegal Railways. Here we are out in Barnes on the section of track between Stranorla and Donegal Town. This is known as Dunyans Holt, which was originally built by the local people so they would have access to the railway line. It's called Dunyans Holt because all the land around here is owned by the Dunyan family who kindly gave me permission to come onto their land today, do this little bit of filming. To gain access to the platform, the passengers would have come along the old Tarnawilly Road, which is behind that bank of trees over there, across the fields, across the river down there, which is the Lowry Moor. There was a footbridge across there. And then they would have come up this hill, through this gate entrance here, and onto the platform to await their train. So here we are at the footbridge that led up to the halt up there on the hill. So as I said before, the passengers would have come through these fields, across this bridge, and up to the halt. The bridge has been washed away several times in floods during the railway's life. Um, you can see here the railway company must have supplied these old rails and sleepers to build a more substantial bridge. The concrete here is made up using the local gravels out of the river, so it gives a much sturdier structure. In fact, the railways have been gone 60 years and this bridge is still here. This section of the Donegal Railway opened up on the 25th of April in 1882. It started in Stranorla in that direction, went another mile up there towards Loch S station where it terminated. It wasn't until 1889 that it actually completed its route into Donegal Town. On this archive footage from 1958, we are travelling on a rail car heading towards Stranorla. We start at Loch S station and finish at Barnesmore Holt, which is a mile past Dunyans Holt. The Holt would have been on the left. The last bit of freight traffic to pass here would have been on the 30th of December 1959. It was a coal train going from Straban to Ballyshannon to make sure they had enough coal provisions before the railway closed. The last passenger working going past this halt would have been Railcar 12 on the 31st of December 1959. By the summer of 1960, all the track and sleepers had been ripped up, leaving the track bed here and this platform as the only reminder of the once great railway that serviced the county. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of history about Dungeons Holt. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.